you know who he's supporting, Ten Sports, joint production with ARY. He's toying with the bowlers, Virinder Sebag. Having a lot of fun, also brings out the 300 for India. Doesn't make a difference to Sebag. He's still timing the ball extremely well. Even a better shot. Off the front foot. The idea is not just to time it, but the idea is also to hit it into the gaps and he finds them magically, so it's almost as though the ball goes into gaps automatically, but that's not the case. He's making those gaps. He's always trying to play it squarer than the line of the delivery. Made room for himself once again and played into that gap. That was a cracker. And again. Same result. He's racing away. He's on 195. Would you believe it? Three fours in a row. Catch was the call, but he very deliberately played it over that deep gully fielder or short point, whatever you want to call him. Correction, not over, but past him. He just equaled his score at Melbourne. 195, not out. He hold out at long on on that occasion to a full toss at 195. Oh, this is an absolute gem. Magnificent. <laughs> it keeps getting better. 199 to Virinda Sevag. Four boundaries in this over and this probably was the best of the lot round the wicket trying to take it across him got into position perfectly and nobody moved mid off an extra cover didn't bat an eyelid <laughs> 200 for wearing the Sevak is it just short of the fielder yes they cross over the second fastest double hundred ever. The fastest was by Nathan Astle. This is the second fastest ever. This man is having a great time. Well, he came very close to throwing it away at 199. It almost carried to that third man fielder. But he has got a stupendous double hundred. Second fastest ever in the history of the game and really has brought everybody up on their feet. What an amazing innings. And he does favor this Pakistan attack. 38 boundaries in his 182 ball, 200. Two double hundreds and a triple hundred against Pakistan for Sebag.